Hey guys, East Tennessee Prepper here, and I have a very special guest with me today. This is a ham and cheese sandwich. It's delicious, fulfilling, and it never lets me down. And there's a possibility it may be more dependable and more reliable than some of the garbage we acquired in our bug out bag. Bug out bag, everyday bag, uh, you know, we've got all kinds of different bags. Now this, my EDC bag, um, years and years and years ago, I guess what was it, 2012, 2013, when I originally started getting into the prepping community and, uh, and a lot of us kind of fell into this little trap you know, we tried to do everything, every single thing as cheap as possible. We were excited. We were just throwing anything and everything in the bags. And um, now I know what's in my EDC. I carry it every day. I go nowhere without it. Um, however, my bug out bag, the one that uh, in the unlikely and well, the event that I would not look forward to, which is abandoning my home, uh, that bag is much bigger, and that is not one I had went through uh, in years. And you know, it's recommended that you go through your bug out bag at least every time the season changes. Um, anyway, I decided to go through this bag. <laughs> And some of the stuff in it, I'm like, what was I thinking? Um, you know, most of y'all know I went through a personal uh, SHGF, and uh, it took me out of the loop and out of the community for, for several years. So, as you know, I'm having to rebuild, restart a lot of things. So, I started with that bug out bag. And novelty items have no place in your bag. Um, they take up valuable space. And to be honest, these things are going to get you hurt. One of the things that I found in my bag was this little Sheffield, uh, little Sheffield kit that had all kinds of little goodies in it. And about everything on it had a key ring. And of course, you know, if I ever get attacked by a rabid uh, uh, wine bottle or beer bottle, well... I'm set. And then we have this cute little thing. Look at these little scissors. I mean, seriously, I carry scissors in my EDC. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is useless. Also in that chef build is this little uh, knockoff of a Swiss Army knife. And... This, I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is just terrible. Absolutely terrible. That kind of stuff right there can get you hurt. And I don't mean in a self-defense uh, scenario. I am talking about just trying to use your tools when you need them. And uh, it's something you've got to consider. You know, I, I had a couple of different multi-tools. They have absolutely no weight whatsoever. They're flimsy. Uh, oh, yeah, here's my favorite. Here is my favorite. Look at that. Look at that teeny tiny little saw. Most of the attachments on here are only good for cleaning your fingernails. Uh, who is, what are you sawing? What are you sawing with a blade that little? I mean, it's literally an inch. If you're sawing twigs, you could just, uh, look at this. I'm not dying. This thing is useless. Absolutely useless. This was made by Winchester, and it has it's it's lighter than the Sheffield was, and you saw the size difference and its attachments. I just I mean they're just they're terrible, absolutely terrible. This kind of stuff is what you've got to worry about because I mean. You're under high stress situation. Maybe you're not underneath the high stress situation. It doesn't matter. You need your tools, and uh, your tools can get you hurt. Um, next up on the list, 
was my pocket knives from Frost Cutlery. Um, we'll start out with this cheap piece of junk. Um, I don't think you should ever go cheap on uh, a few items in your bag as a standard rule. Trash bags is one of them. Knives, tools, uh, that's another video. But this is a cheap plastic knife. Um, it's very slippery when it gets wet. The serration part here that is supposed to give you a grip is incredibly slick. Uh, you're looking at a slip hazard when you're trying to work with it. Um, cuts, abrasions, things that lead to infection, leads to open wounds, open sores, and possibly death. Another one. I thought that blade was bad. This one is by far the worst. I mean, this feels like a child's toy. And look at this. Look at this. Look at this garbage. This right here will get you killed. I mean, if you're working with something with any kind of tension, that could probably break with no problem. So, guys, do yourself a favor. Go through your bag. It's got me looking at mine. <laughs> I'm pulling everything out of it. Um, it's not unusual, you know, when you first get into this, you're excited, you know. You're going to Walmart, you're going to dollar store, you're grabbing this, and you know, hey, we need this, we need that. And we're trying to get as much as we can for the least amount of money. These items right here, it's better to have none. I'd rather have a stick than these two knives right here. A stick or even a rock. Or even better, a ham and cheese sandwich. Have a great day, guys.